that are in your own grasp. grasp, grasp. And you know what they are. This is also something that you're going to preach to you about. It's something you have to decide for yourself. And you can do it quite straightforwardly. I do want to read it. Sit down in the morning and ask yourself, like you're asking someone that you want the answer from, you really you genuinely need to want to have the answer. I'm telling yourself, none of that. You're asking yourself. things about my life that aren't in order, that aren't together, and I know it, and they're making me suffer, and they're making me less than I am, and there's some of those things that are staring me right in the face, and I know what they are, what they are, there's some of those that I can put in order today, with a little bit of work, or so that when I wake up tomorrow, the domain of my experience, which is basically being itself, the domain of my experience will be more pristine and better put together than it is today. You ask yourself that, you'll find right away. You know what they are? Five things that come up. Bang, 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 bang. And they'll all be things that aren't very important, kind of trivial, and that you can avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. Those are little dragons in chaos, those things. And you know, they're just little, and that's good because you're not much of a hero warrior, and so maybe little tiny dragons are all those things put up with for now. You know, you sort those things out, and it will, first of all, it'll order your, it'll order the being around you in a more pristine and productive way, and it'll make you just a little bit more focused and together, together. And what I'll do is that the next thing you can do is ask yourself the same question, and the problems that will emerge will be slightly larger and more complex. And then you can try to put those in order, and that will make everything around you more pristine and better put together, and it'll make you a little bit stronger and more clear-headed. And then another set of problems will emerge that's a little bit larger, and if you continue to do that, you know, You'll sort yourself out, you'll clean up your room, you'll put your house in order, and then you can start to work in the community. And by that time, you'll actually have some power and power, power and some self-confidence and some confidence and some credence. And you'll be much more, much less likely to stupidly hit something complicated with a stick and say that you fixed it. But you have to start low, low, low. Yeah. <laughs> 